This time on the Major Minute, Veterinary Technology and... Pikachu with John Tanner Blevins. And don't forget, artist in residence, David, David Flora. Flora. Let's get busy. We're back on the Major Minute with Cassidy Jones. Thank you for having me here. She's a veterinary technology major. We're gonna to talk to her about the major here shortly, but first, let's hear about what other people think the major consists of. Okay. I assume that a vet tech just uh, handles all the technology that normally like veterinarians and people would use. I have no clue. <laughs> Take care of animals. A vet technician uh, maybe works with the machines to help animals. I would assume that they work with like x-rays at vets? Oh, it, a veterinary technician would most likely just be doing uh, maintenance on the technology used for uh, veterinary clinics. Um, maybe fixes dogs in like different ways that like just a regular technician can't. I think in my mind a vet tech is someone who helps out with a veterinarian on the technical side. Is that where they get the name from? I mean, veterinary, so... <laughs> Any machines or whatnot used in the vet on animals, I imagine they run the machines. They basically do like whatever a veterinarian can do, but they can't perform surgery. A vet tech. To be quite honest, I don't know what a vet tech does. <laughs> so. so Cassie, would you say that is a good representation of what veterinary technology is? Um, some, but I don't really think people get like the fine details of what vet techs do. We're basically like a nurse and an x-ray technician and an anesthesiologist. And we, I mean, we do a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, what made you interested in majoring in veterinary technology? I was raised with animals like my entire life. So I just always loved being around animals and everything. And I just wanted to help them. So what can you do with veterinary technology as a degree once you graduate? Most people just go work in a veterinary clinic, but then people, some people like specialize, so like I'm gonna go specialize in zoology after I graduate from Moorhead. So you can specialize in dental, anesthesia, zoology, ClinPath. I mean, there's like, there's so many options. So what would you say is unique about the veterinary technology program at Moorhead State? You get a lot of hands-on work that most places don't offer. So what's the facilities like out there at the MSU farm? You can work with large animal or small animal. So like through the program, you work with both. We work with cows and pigs and uh, dogs, cats, bunnies, mouse, rats. I mean, we work with basically everything. So does it get a little messy out there sometimes? Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Wait a minute. Hello? It's time for the veterinary technology song. I know, I practice this. Dogs and cats, frogs and bats, ferrets and coyotes, and yes, maybe zygotes. The vet tech set to jet, the vet tech set to jet. you find the coolest is how to put a heart monitor on a platypus. Woo! Veterinary technology is where you want to be. Veterinary technology is where you want to be. Woo! We'll be right back with David Flora, artist in residence. But first, Pika Tunes. Black as a lake Cause that old 
sweetness was lost in translation And now bitterness is all I can taste Great tune, Tanner. Where can folks hear the rest of that? Uh, you can check that out on uh, wikipiece.com or go to our YouTube from there. Outstanding. And where can people hear you play live next? Uh, the next show we have is November the 11th in Richmond at the Madison Garden. Outstanding. Be there. Hold on a second. Hello? Yeah, it's for you. How many times do I have to tell you? I have no idea. Is it art? Is it art? Every program, we choose a major relevant art piece and ask folks on the street, is it art? What do you think, Colonel? I don't know, it's awful beefy. Oh, he sure gets into the meat of things. Yeah. Though. I'll hand that to him. Let's get on the street. Yes, I definitely think this is art. I feel art is anything that anyone can put into words. You're able to express something in some sort of way. I feel like this has to be art. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, I definitely think it's art. Yes. Um, the definition of art is different for everybody, but I think that really anything that draws any creativity is considered as art. Um, I think it's art because art is a matter of expression, and what they're doing is they're expressing their ideals, and I think it's really cool because the meat and the shape of the lake are similar, so there's some similarity and there's um, a reflection in what is happening, but the only thing that's reflected in the water is the cow. And so the meat that's in the sky is not reflected, yet the cow is, which is the same thing. I, I definitely think that a flying steak over a lake is art. New to the Major Minute, Jesus with the Minor Minute. Hey, I'm Jesus Carrera, and I'm usually behind the cameras, but now I'm presenting to you the Minor Minute, because minors are important to you. Today we're going to talk about Spanish, or how I like to call it, Espanol. Espanol. I'm here right now with Sarah Bushman and Holly McClurkin, and both are Spanish students here at Morehead State. And I want to ask you guys, why? Why Spanish? Well, I really love languages, and I love Spanish. And uh, uh, it works very well with my other major, which is international studies. So that's why I chose Spanish. Awesome. I've been taking Spanish classes since I was in kindergarten, so I figured I might as well just continue taking them. And I'm a convergent media major, so I figured, and I want to be a reporter when I grow up, so I figured if I can like go out and get a story, and if there happens to be a Spanish-speaking person there and I can talk to them better, then I could write a better story about it. I like being able to eavesdrop on people when they're speaking Spanish. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Say something Spanish. Okay, vamos a hablar español. ¿Cuál es tu palabra favorita? Uh, mi palabra favorita es uh, chaqueta. Chaqueta. My palabra favorita is perro because I like to roll my R's. That's pretty cool. Como tu sabes español? Oh, bueno, mi mamá me enseñó. Gracias, mami. We're back here on the Major Minute with our artist in residence, David Floor. Every program, David creates original artwork while we do the shoot, and this time he's done it again about veterinary technology. What have you got for us, David? This! Outstanding. Ooh. Ooh. Human and animal meat. Very nice. Outstanding. I would love to have that added to my collection. I would like to have it as well. Should we arm wrestle? Mud wrestle? Mm, quiz off. <laughs> quiz off. Ooh, here we go. Question one, gentlemen, are you ready? Ready. What do vet tech people do? Work with animals. Uh, work with machines. Uh, act like a nurse, x-ray tech, anesthesiologist, etc. That's gotta go to China. Oh. What does Cassidy want to, why does Cassidy want to be a vet tech? Uh, she loves bunnies. Uh, help animals. Oh, she was raised with animals mm. and loves being around them. Uh, I don't know. Judges? Judge? Zero. Uh. <laughs> what does Cassidy want to specialize in? Public relations of animals. Large animal care. Zoology, that's too dull. Oh. What are other areas a vet tech major can specialize in? Dental. Cardio. Uh, dentistry, anesthesia, clinical pathology, etc. Todd, gentlemen, last question. Okay, I'm ready. Where do most vet tech majors end up working in? Farm. Uh, clinics. Vet clinic. Bam! Yes! Mr. This is, Modab. This is as rigged as the presidential election. <laughs> well, of course. 
Well, sorry. Democracy in action. <laughs> I'll take that and I'll put it in my collection and occasionally I will allow you to see it. Thank you, David. Thank you, everybody. It's been outstanding. Great. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. For more information about veterinary technology, check out the Department of Agricultural Sciences at Moorhead State University. Thank you, thank you. All right, take the shot.